Hello, gorgeous. I know this song, but I only know the Nine Inch Nails version. And I do believe that is the original. I think it's one of the most magical artistic songs ever because of how constantly dissonant it is. <laughs> and how much that dissonance makes sense. It's a special, special song egg. And today, Johnny Cash is going to be laying that egg for us. According to Wikipedia, this version was released in 2002. And in that same Wikipedia page, I learned that Johnny Cash actually died in 2003. That is already rather spine tingling on its own. And knowing what this song is like in terms of the, you know, everything. We're in for an experience and I can't think of anyone better to go on this experience with than you. That little bean right there. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Try to kill it all away completely bone tingling, spine tingling, toe tingling. I am fully tingled. The amount of shows he must have played, songs he's released, God only knows. And maybe Wikipedia, I haven't checked. But he's done a lot of stuff in his life, right? He wanted to perform this song for a higher purpose, a purpose that transcends the purposes of many other songs that we hear. It's a very rare experience to behold a piece of art that doesn't have that sort of tinge of, I need to make money out of you. It's a true blessing to be able to hear a singer that's very, very talented at ripe old age because you get this magical quality about the voice that can only come with age. So even if I try to do an impression of him using all of those characteristics, like a dropped lower voice with a little bit of vocal fry in it. Uh, uh, I focus on the pain. You can still notice the absence of that little sparkle that he has. Now, obviously I'm glamorizing it because if we don't have the ability to close the vocal folds fully, we could be suffering from a number of voice conditions such as Ronke's edema. Miley Cyrus famously has this. I had mm -hmm. something called Reiki's edema. Usually this happens when you're like in your 60s or 70s. Basically when your vocal folds blow up, they get super, super full of some kind of liquid and they don't have the ability to close anymore. So your voice will get very, very low because your vocal folds are really, really thick. It's not ideal. As we age, not only do our muscles start to degrade as you would expect, but we also begin to lack proteins like collagen to give us elasticity which affects our skin and it also affects our voice as well but you do get this distinctly gorgeous sparkle and fragility that enables you to convey emotion that is impossible i think at any other time of life you can just feel the wisdom you can see it in their eyes you can see it in the lines on their face it's something that you just can't help but respect and be in awe of because if you're young you literally cannot relate the needle tears a hole the needle tears a hole tears you see how he lifted his cheeks a little bit on tears to make sure that the resonance gets reflected into the roof of his mouth muscle memory good habits die hard just like the bad ones. You can see his tongue moving a lot, which means it's flexible and it's not tense at the root. But I remember everything. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away in the air oh dear. <laughs> and you could have it all my empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt <gasps> oh my goodness this is a bit much
much. Oh, I've never, ever, ever in my whole life got this emotional this early on in a in a music performance. Oh, this is unbearable. Because it, it's completely changed the meaning of the song. The original performance with the octave change in the chorus. The deliberately flat and sharp notes all over the place. Filled me with this sense of anticipation and edginess and something that I could really relate to personally. But I can't relate to this at all. I'm just witnessing someone who isn't anticipating anything, who is concluding events. This is the musical life flashing before one's eyes. It's really very much to do with how harrowing those visuals are. Things like his frail old hands on the piano, that slight tremble as he plays guitar. Seeing the words closed everywhere, things smashed, things empty, this sort of barren wasteland, which was once someone's life. It's kind of awful, but in the most beautiful way. Everyone I know goes away in the end. You can see this sweet lady in this photo. Goes away. While that line is being delivered. The cruel hands of time seem to have taken this lady away, whereas in the original it was implied that it was sort of peripheral, egotistical, fake friends leaving or something like that. It's a funny thing, isn't it? Life. If there's one thing that's inevitable, we're all going to die. And that sounds so casual and like, <laughs> whatever, in conversation. But when you come to the end of your life and you lose all of your friends and your family, it's like, oh, it must get very bloody real. <sighs> oh, crikey. All right. This is the definition of bittersweet. I don't know if it's more bitter than sweet, though. Hopefully this is just for artistic purposes and he had a very happy life. I'm going to keep my mind there. Will I get through the end of this video without having an emotional breakdown? Subscribe for yes, subscribe for no. Wow, that was slick. I will let you down. The way his voice dips right down and he leans on that her, all he means it. I will make you hurt. Oh. So your little voice, even if it is little, you can make it sound lower and warmer if you are able to drop it. So if you do an impression of a bored teenager, you can go. Uh, 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 uh. And once you've dropped it, you can actually harness some of that lowness and warmth. And his voice sits low and heavy anyway, so when he drops it even more... <laughs> this goes right through ya! Ooh, it's magic! You stay the hell away from me, you hear? <laughs> I wear this crown of thorns Upon my liar's chair Full of broken thoughts I cannot repair Beneath the stains of time The feelings disappear You are someone else That recurrent starting to build some tension and fill a frequency range that we haven't heard filled yet. So we're getting something new. It's coming. His ability to phrase things. Oh God, it's so gorgeous. He knows exactly when to cut things off and when to hold them on a little bit. <laughs> and when he holds on his phrases, they finish with pure breath. And that's really chilling. The old familiar sting. So that was a lingering, sustained phrase. And then straight after, we've got, try to kill it. <laughs> Every legendary singer has this in common, conscious phrasing. Maybe it's conscious, maybe it's subconscious, but 
if you're an experienced performer and you've performed a lot of live shows, you also know based on the audience reception when something struck a chord or it didn't. And you can adjust your phrasing based on the audience response. And usually we find that an audience responds much better when the phrasing is constantly varied. You know, sometimes you hear a really, really good singer with really, really good technique that just doesn't resonate with you. And it's sometimes difficult to put your finger on. This is one of those things. Maybe the tone of their voice is really beautiful, but they hang on the end of every single sentence. So you're like, oh, it gets predictable. It's a big ass thing. I love the pronunciation. Oh gosh, yeah, even thinking about it is physically difficult. The soft puzz. He did it earlier, I noticed it, and he's doing it again. Upon. Upon. Upon my liar's chair. As opposed to upon my liar's chair. That gives us a very different vocal delivery just by changing that quality of the plosive. So when we have this tight connection upon, what it does is it gives our voice a little bit of back pressure to then support that note so it comes out clearer. Upon, you can imagine all the little voicey resonances getting built up in here. Then they get to all explode at the same time. Lovely and clean. Very cool. But what he's doing here is a very loose approach to that plosive. So there's no extra resonance being built up in the cheeks to deliver the rest of the phrase. It's loose. But this looseness is giving us even more rasp and breath flow. So it's just this big, breathy, raspy trail of lusciousness. It's that poetic beauty of him being older and even the lip muscles are obviously affected like the rest of the muscles are. So they're not going to be as happy to close as they used to be. But they don't need to be because this is beautiful as well. Uh, if you're watching this now at 70, 80, 90, 100 years old, there's things about your voice right now that make you extremely special. Things that we could consider as deficiencies, like the, the muscle weaknesses. You can make that so beautiful. <laughs> I am still right here. What have I oh, become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away in the year. And you could have it all. My empire of dirt. I will let you down. Oh. oh my god, that was just... Oh. Oh. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I really just think that was just astonishing. I've never seen anything like that before. Something so vulnerable and the opportunity to watch someone talk about their life and a life that was obviously so vivid and eventful he must have got up to all kinds of shit. having that divine ability to be able to reflect on your life in such a beautiful way using lyrics that aren't even his It's like it was written for him. I don't think I've ever done an analysis before where I've needed tissue number two. <laughs> World record. He must have a ginormous empire of dirt if we're considering that as material things like money and stuff. It's just dirt, isn't it? I mean, everything starts as dirt and it ends as dirt. So I think that's what they're referring to in that line. When all is said and done and lived and sung, we end up the same.
And although a young man wrote those lyrics, presumably with sort of suicidal thoughts that he just wants to leave it all behind, that sentiment is still true when time naturally leaves us behind as well. So everything does go away in the end. Life is very finite, whether you like it or not. So you might as well just live your life and capture as many sweet moments as you can. You hear those really distorted, like badly played guitar strings? I'll show you. I'm really good at playing guitar badly, so I can demonstrate this quite easily. I'm guessing is likely due to the fact that he's probably playing this guitar himself and he doesn't have the strength in his fingers anymore to push the string all the way down onto the fretboard, which is why it's getting that buzz. When we push it down all the way, it's got this nice clean ring. And as we start to lose the pressure, it makes it even more brilliant though, because it's so authentic and that is the point of music. There is no point playing technically beautiful music if it doesn't match the mood. Sometimes there are absolutely necessary technical compromises that must occur if you want to move people. And this is one of those times, very voice children. Consider me well and truly moved. <laughs> There's this thing in music production, both live and studio, called gain. And if you go over a certain threshold of this gain of the microphone, then the signal will clip. If I could start again. You've definitely heard it yourself. If you've ever been to like a public speaking event and someone goes, hello, and it goes like that. Any other stupid questions? That's clipping. Sometimes the rules are there to be broken. I don't know the story, whether all he had in him was one take and they had the mic on too high and they're like, ah, oh, it, we've just got to use what we've got or whether they did it deliberately. However it got there, I'm glad it stayed. This could arguably be the best cover of all time. I've just never heard such a captivating, unbelievably emotional, real interpretation of someone else's lyrics as, as this. Let's read out today's oracle card. People can only believe in you so much. You have to take it to the next level. Sometimes others will poo-poo your goals and dreams. Be fierce, take charge, and show your pride. If there's something that Johnny has taught me today, albeit inadvertently, what we end up being most proud of in life is our conduct and the relationship that we have with people and the world. Those are the most important achievements. Immersing yourself in love and connection with the people around you cannot be replaced, will not be forgotten, nor may it be eclipsed by any other kind of achievement, no matter how grandiose. Thank you so much for being here today with me on the channel. I do hope this video was good enough to warrant your like and subscription. If you made it to the premiere, big premiere hug for you and a big hug for you anyway, even if you're here at any other time in the future. If you're not all cried out yet and you fancy doing even more crying, then I would definitely recommend this video. We can get emotional together all over again. <laughs> Until next time. Love you. Bye. I am Lolly <laughs> because it could get damp in the eye zone. I would just have to accept I would have a perpetually salty face. Push the guitar all the way. Blimey O'Reilly. Oh my good God, I can't even speak. What have I become? <laughs> good guy. They're a magic. <laughs>